How to use Substack to create newsletters. Hi guys, today I am showing you that how you can create newsletters on Substack for free in 2021. So let's get started. All you have to do is just go to substack.com and sign up for free. The sign up process is completely easy. All you have to do is just log in with your email address and then create your own profile. Now I will actually show you how you can actually edit your profile on newsletter as well because it's an important part of creating newsletters letters through Substack. So this is what your dashboard looks like after you have signed up for free. All of these processes are free in Substack but if you subscribe to a reader's list then 10% of your subscription is taken by the Substack. But creating a newsletter is completely free. So you can see all of these different options of readers. If I click on readers I will be able to discover different newsletters from different people. Then there's an option of writers where I can actually you know go for both podcasts and then you can see the option of writers right here where I can actually you know switch to Substack for podcast bloggers for finance writers comic book creators and local news and then there are resources so what we need to do right now is we're gonna create our own newsletter so we will go to the writer dashboard once I will click on writers dashboard I will be able to create my new post or any podcast if I want to so you will land on this page right here 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 we can actually create our new post. You will see the option of new post right here. Now new post means creating a newsletter and newsletters are actually created and then sent through emails uh, before like back in the days people were used to send them through mails but now we do that through emails. So what's going to happen is first we will you know you can see the options right here enter title subtitle and then we're going to add the text right here. This is where the newsletter will be created. Now before we create a newsletter what you have to do is you will see this option of added email header and footer. Now this is very important because I told you we are going to send our newsletter through email. So what you have to do is you will have to add these information information too. So what's going to happen is you can just you know you can see email header settings banner image now you have to upload a banner image right here if you want to make sure the image is high resolution image so you can create a good banner right here. For now I'm going to leave the banner but if you just wanted to upload you will simply click on upload and upload your banner. Then we have all posts added a message included at the top of post emails. Now this is the message which is the header of our newsletter. This is the message that will be added in all of our emails in all of our newsletters on Subtask. So this is the message that will be added into our all of our newsletters on Substack. So what's going to happen is now take your time, decide whatever you want to write as a header for your post emails. Uh, for now, I'm just going to, you know, add something very random. Okay, I'm going with this very um, random thing. But what happens in the newsletter is you will actually, you know, require a good header for your email so that the news uh, paper or whatever the news media you're sending your newsletter to they should be able to you know read it and it should attract them so be more creative with it add whatever you want to so for now I'm just gonna leave it this way and save once you click on save then this header will be added into all of our emails for our newsletter once your header is done you can see the footer right here now if you like this post from newsletter why not share it so what's going to happen is they have actually given me an example that you know you can write something like this and you can actually you know this is actually right so what's going to happen is that they have actually added this button too that you can actually add into your footer so i think the footer looks good i'm just going to keep it this way but what what you will do is you will actually you know create a good footer for your email in order to write your newsletter so if for now I'm just gonna save it I think this looks good so I'm just gonna simply save it okay once it's saved now my footer is also added and my header is also added now if I want to send a test email I can actually send this email to my email address and check out that how my email looks how my header and footer looks but for now we're gonna skip this step because I just wanted to show you that you know you need to do these settings as well so now we're just gonna go back to to our Substack newsletter dashboard where I was actually creating a post. So you will see right here that I'll have to okay so here this is the dashboard where I was creating my newsletter
newsletter. Now creating a newsletter, writing a newsletter, that's your job. Of course, you will write a good newsletter. So what's going to happen is now enter a title for your newsletter or whatever it is. For example, let's just go with any news that you want to send to the newspaper or media. Okay, so I just wrote big news, like very randomly, you can actually add a good title to your newsletter and make sure that your title is catchy and it has, you know, um, the ability to attract the reader. Okay, this is also very random. I just wrote a sub title after that you can actually see here you they are actually showing my profile if i want to hide it i will simply click on hide then i have all of these different options right here if i want to insert something i can actually you know insert it too there is a style option where i can create different headings there is a buttons option so you can see all of these different options here the buttons where i can actually add different buttons into my post and i will be adding some if i want to add any image i can do that as well let's insert any image from here and that will look good i think so this is an image of just some tech image so let's just say that my newsletter was according to this image so i deleted the image just so it was not you know not looking that good so i just it went away and it's okay so add my newsletter here so you can actually you know type in or you can copy from your word wherever you actually wrote it so you can just go ahead and do that and uh, take your time to edit it if i want to bold it i can do that as well italic there are different settings for everything of course then if i want to add a style i can do that if i want to add any button i would simply add a button right here there you go and this will be my newsletter um actually you know what let me add some of the text more so i added this random text right here so once you have written your newsletter right here uh, what's gonna happen is that it's all done you have done all of the settings you're good with everything so what's gonna happen is simply click on publish so once i click on publish now my newsletter will be published on Substack, and you will see this post now in order to publish there are different options for example everyone of course and then there is an option of only paid subscribers now the subscriber that have paid for my blog for my newsletter they can actually see it actually i do not have any paid subscriber that's why this option is not available i have turned it off but if you had then you would have the paid subscribers and you will be getting that money as well you actually earn money on two newsletters on substack and then 10 percent of the fees also goes to substack as well allow comments then i'm gonna allow comments from everybody and they're saying that big news and this is the social preview so i can actually you know add an image from here and i can actually i have uploaded this image just now this is kind of like a thumbnail for my news and this is what my news looks like big news here is the news for you the title and the subtitle will be shown as a preview so once it's done you can see the option of send an email to everybody so i'm just gonna you know uh, uncheck it for now because i do not want to send this email i just randomly wrote it but what you will do is you can actually send this email to everybody they mean your subscribers or the contacts that you actually have so for now i'm just gonna publish on the website now so once i click on publish on website now it will be published on substack and there you go this is my newsletter right here now my newsletter is literally one line that's why it's looking like this but when you will add your newsletter it will look very good and of course you will be able to read it anytime so if i go to my dashboard now and from dashboard let's go back there you go now you can see i have one newsletter right here which was big news that i just published right now they're actually going to show me the views right here here, the views i will actually get similarly you can actually add a podcast to a new thread as well so once you're done with your post this is how actually i wanted to show you how you actually add newsletter in substack and this is how you actually add a newsletter on substack if i want to go back i will simply go back and you can see that this is what my post looks like this is the thumbnail and this is the news if i want to like it i will simply click on here if i want to comment i can do that as well so yeah this is how you actually add a newsletter on substack so yeah guys it was super easy to add newsletter to your substack make sure you add details into your profile as well and then creating a newsletter on substack is 
very easy and completely free. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you will be able to create your own newsletters on Substack. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.